Hundreds of treasures from the famous Forbidden City are to be shown in Canada for the first time. Curators say the exhibits, some never seen outside China's imperial palace, will transport locals back to the time of emperors and empresses, even if it's just for one day. Let's take a look. They're the treasures which give a glimpse into the lives of China's imposing emperors and empresses who lived more than 1,000 years before. There's ornate robes, jewellery and precious cups, all used by the 24 emperors, empresses, concubines and eunuchs of China's Ming and Qing dynasties. They're all part of the exhibition The Forbidden City, inside the court of China's emperors, about to open to the public at Toronto's Royal Ontario Museum. Of the approximately 250 artefacts, 80 have never been seen outside the Forbidden City before. Curators say it's been designed to make visitors feel as if they're actually walking through the 980 buildings and more than 9,000 rooms of China's famous Forbidden City. It includes a mock outer court where the emperor would entertain guests and the inner court where the imperial family lived. Visitors will also get a sneak peek inside the emperor's study, the most private room in the palace. Janet Carding from the Royal Ontario Museum says visitors will get a glimpse of the Forbidden City normally off limits to the public. I think that's been something which our curators have been able to bring to life. So they have researched the different histories and they've gone back and they've looked at people who wrote diaries and journals and accounts of living in the palace at the time. And from that we've been able to piece together what I think is a very, very rich story that brings to life the object. With 1.8 million artefacts from the Palace Museum's vault to choose from, curators had their work cut out putting the exhibition together. Due to the large number of light-sensitive textiles and paintings, exhibits will be on rotation during their time in Canada. China's ambassador to Canada, Jiang Junsai, said the end product makes all the effort worthwhile. The exhibit will run from March 8th through to September 1st.